Good morning, everyone. Welcome to February 28th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures up 48, S&P futures up 5, and NASDAQ futures are up 10. Both Asian and European shares were higher overnight. The S&P finally climbed above 1370, at least for a brief moment, before settling down later in the day. Pending home sales came out better than expected, helping the market climb higher early on. By the time the market closed, the S&P and NASDAQ advanced slightly, while the Dow was flat. Today we'll get durable goods orders at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, the Case-Shiller Housing Index reading at 9 a.m. Eastern, then Consumer Confidence at 10 a.m. Eastern. There are no key earnings reports due out today. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 13.46, the 50-day at 13.04, and the 200-day at 12.57. We've got support on the S&P at 13.46 and resistance at 13.72. Well, finally, the S&P cleared 13.70 intraday. The high near 13.72 put the S&P in territory not seen since the middle of 2008. But the bears were ready to defend, with the S&P closing at 13.67. Now, if we can get the S&P to close above that 1372 level, 1400 will then be in sight. We still remain overbought, so it will take an extra effort for the bulls to make further progress here. Here's a bully trend fact. Leap year produces trading on February 29th. This Wednesday will mark the eighth time that February 29th trading has taken place in the NASDAQ since 1971. The bulls are hoping that history repeats itself as the NASDAQ has been higher on five of the previous seven occasions with an annualized return of 52.47%. It doesn't hurt that February 29th marks the last trading day of the month, which is historically a bullish day. It also won't hurt that it's a Wednesday, the best trading day of the week. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.